Hello and uh, welcome to HTML, CSS and JavaScript from beginner to advanced lesson 4. In this lesson we have some more HTML tags here. Uh, we have insert, insert and underline, they do the same thing. Then we have uh, del, delete, if you see it strikes through a text. S does the same thing, strike through. Then we have uh, some lists, uh, ordered list, uh, list item, unordered list, list item inside that one, definition list, uh, definition term, and definition. Uh, let's start. First of all, we will start with the insert. Uh, so what it does is if uh, you type some text, for example, this is... Uh, okay, for example, if you type in some text, uh, some text is inserted, and uh, let's... Uh, underline this part just uh, open uh, the tag and uh, say ins insert and then go close it anything inside this insert element will be underlined after you save this file you can open it in this browser and you can see it says some text is the text is which was inside the insert element is underlined now. We can use U as well, but U is uh, for the older HTML. So let's change this one to U and save it. If you refresh it, you see it's still the same thing. It's still underlined. Let's uh, do the next one, uh, which is delete. Uh, let's change this one to delete, delete it, and take this off, and this off. Okay, save it. Just make sure nothing is here. And now let's use the delete. If you say deal, so open your delete tag and close it here. Save it. There you go, it's striked now. That's what the delete does. We can use S as well instead of uh, delete. So just uh, make sure that to its original text. See, nothing is here now. Uh, now let's use S. Save it. Refresh your browser. You see, now it is striked through. That was. Uh, is a strike. Now let's go to the next one, which is a uh, ordered list. This one, OL. Let's see how to use that one. For example, I have some text already here. We will change this one to ordered list. First of all, let's save this uh, text and see how it looks in the browser, and then we will change this text. That's how it looks like right now. We can change it to a nice uh, ordered list. Uh, go ahead and uh, so let's uh, first of all what we need to do here is uh, uh, just type ul that means ordered list so we open the ordered list and then we close it remember always to close any element you open if you save it and uh, refresh it you see still nothing uh, important this li which is list item goes inside ul now let's change this one to ordered list so this is an example of the ul what i can do is uh, as i said you have to type this li around any text any text which is an item of that list you can just uh, copy and paste the lazy way and also for the closing you have to be careful with this slash that closes anything between this and this is part of this element
now go ahead and just uh, save this one and open it in the browser just refresh your browser and look what happens there you go let me make it a smaller there you go uh, as you see it's an ordered list that means it will start uh, with a number and goes up we'll do this first do that second and so on so it's a, an ordered list you have to do anything which has an order now let's uh, change maybe the same thing to unordered list oh before we go to that one we all we are we can also nest this ordered list uh, meaning uh, we can put another ordered list inside this ordered list or maybe we can put an unordered list inside this ordered list i i can show you how uh, to do that one, uh, okay, create a directory structure. For example, let's do this one. Let's change this one. Okay, to do this one, uh, we create uh, another li here, and all this one uh, just take it here, nice and clean. And now here inside this li create another ol and remember to close this one and then inside this ol you can create your li's uh, list items let's save this one and see go to your browser refresh it as you see from number four we have uh, all these things here so that means all these five they're part of number four of course you can type something for this one here you can just go here and well, you can type here if you want nest it something like this and now refresh it as you see here you go of course you can uh, change this one to ul which is unordered list and refresh it so you will see these numbers will change here you go that means it's unordered you can do any step first or second it doesn't matter so there you go that is an ordered list so you learned ol and ul i can give you a good example just have one example of okay i have some text here we can change this one to unordered list before to change this one to unordered list let's have a look how it looks in the browser save this one and uh, here we go refresh this one you see everything is on one line it's not nice okay let's change this one to unordered list uh, of course instead of ol you just type ul that means unordered list you have to close it ul and each one of these ones are one list item that means we have to put them inside li and then you have to close it li you can just copy and paste uh, I do the lazy way okay save this uh, page right now and then go to the browser and uh, refresh the browser here you go it is an uh, unordered list so it is a list but it's unordered we don't need to do things in a step we don't have one two three and I said we have bullets not numbers that was unordered list of course we can create of course we can nest unordered list let me give you an example here just uh, create another li first and maybe we can put this part in the nested list 
okay now you can create another an ordered list And now save this one and see what happens from learn belt websites. Go to the browser, refresh it. There you go. Okay, uh, that was the unordered list. Now let's have a look at uh, the DL, which is definition list. Okay, now I have some text here and uh, I will change this text to definition list uh, and now let's start. Uh, of course, instead of OL or UL, we uh, type DL this time. That's a definition list. Close your DL. Let's start here. First one is uh, DT, that means uh, definition term. And close your DT. And after DT, we have a DD definition. Okay, that was the first one. Let's create another DT and DD, which is another part of it. Okay, we're done with this part. We just, uh, okay, go ahead and save this one and go to your browser, refresh it, and here you go. That's what you see. That's, uh, that is the DL, definition list. No bullets and no numbering. That was it for today. And thanks for watching. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel.